Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another RMA Fire tutorial. Today, I want to show you how we can go about creating chains. So the first thing that we need is the link to the chains. So let's create a geometry node, go in here, and basically a link for a chain is, a, is number zero, actually. So let's just come here, drop down a font, and you want to type zero. And there you go, you got a perfect uh, chain. <laughs> and we're done. <laughs> Joking. So, okay, let's do an X. Let's do a extrude, poly extrude. Something like that. And we're gonna output back and then I'm gonna do a VDV from polygons and convert VDV because I want it to be nice and and soft point zero three zero two maybe I guess point zero three is gonna do the trick. PDV is more with SDF. Alright, so that's our base for the chain. Of course, it's really high poly, so I'm gonna do a poly reduce here. And let's keep about 20%. And I'll do a file cache so that it's just loading it, loading it from disk. And we can just call this chain. I'm gonna drop down a transform and uh, move centroid to origin so it's nice and centered. Now what we wanna do is draw whatever curve we want our chain to live in. All right, so let's just uh, do a, uh, a draw. Hit enter on the viewport and let's do something kinda like that. Okay, so now what we want to do is clean up this this chain. So let's do a resample. Convert. And we want this to be a base EA curve or nerves curve. And then we're gonna convert it back to a polygon and we got a smooth smooth line then you want to drop down a, cur a chain node and we're gonna put our um, the chain on the left and the curve on the right and off the bat we get that what we're gonna do is rotate this 90 degrees here and uh, 90 degrees here as well so we have our base for the for the chain so but what we want to do is um, mix between two objects so that we have the one in the middle here and that will be clear in a second so basically all you need to do is merge the chain that we have here with this 90 degrees so you're basically going to connect this two it's two chains like this and the cool thing is that this thing just kind of like um randomize like it moves between these two patterns like that all 
all right now we're gonna come into the chain and we are going to enable rigidity so that it's not like stretching it out um, and let's see Okay guys, so now that we have this, what we want to do is come here to the alignment and then adjust the piece spacing so that we can like have them properly mixed like that. And you can see that it's super cool how like it, it, it links them perfectly. And the other thing that I really like is that you can actually make one of them smaller so like and you can mix between more chain pieces to get more interesting looking chains so here if we just adjust the piece scaling piece spacing a little bit we can modify it so that it works with um, one big and the other one smaller chain piece and then you can also like play with the rotation and when you animate the rotation, it, it looks really cool. So now back to our chain pattern. What the rigidity enables is so that like it doesn't like stretch them out to fit the, 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 the chain. It just like adds the amount of pieces that are needed in order to like complete the chain without stretching them out. Um, and then on the deformation, you can also play with the scale here with enabling the scale and do something like um enable scale by this rotational ramp uh, and it's just really cool how you can play with things like like that right and then you can also animate the well like you can play with the map length like that so it's gonna force more pieces in the length of the of the curve and then also the offset will allow you to like offset it like that if you wanted to do an animation that goes along the curve like that um, and another thing that I find to be cool is like offsetting patterns and I'll talk about this on the next one but it's about like adding more patterns to the chain um, and then the other thing that I do feel like it's super helpful to do is animating the deformation of this curve so if we were to grab for example the points here hit T on the viewport and move them so that we are basically animating we're basically deforming our chain and uh, we can also do it back here something like that and a little bit here kind of like that and now we're gonna do a blend shapes of course this needs to be with the identical amount of points or else it just won't work but you can blend between the two states of your chain and let me show you guys what how cool this is because the way that I use it is for just grabbing those points there for example and then if we look at it here from the chain you will see that you can kind of like move the chain almost as if it was growing 
and then you could do stuff like blend between those two shapes and it's like then you can create very interesting ways of having the chain kind of grow all right guys i hope you guys like this tutorial and i'll be back with more